The fact that JavaScript is a dynamically typed language can create some interesting challenges when checking for equality. JavaScript has two separate operators that check for equality and two separate operators that check for inequality. For equality, it's the double equal or the triple equal. For inequality, it's the exclamation point with a single or a double equal sign. Now, when choosing which operator to use, the short and quick answer is always use strict equality or strict inequality. The strict equality operator has three equal signs. The strict inequality has an exclamation point with two equal signs. But it's more important to understand why. Even though you will use the strict equality or strict inequality 99% of the time, if you don't understand the difference, you're not able to choose the other option during that 1% when you may need it. So let's first look at the issues we run into using equality as opposed to strict equality. So I'm going to declare a couple of quick variables for this example. A is going to e be equal to the number one. B is going to be equal to a string of one. Now we'll do an if statement. And we will use basic equality. We'll simply console log. If they're equal to, we'll console log that they are equal. Else, we'll console log that they are not equal. All right, let's save this. Let's open up the console and refresh and see what we get. So using the double equal, it indicates that those two values are equal to one another. Let's try some additional values. Let's use one and set B to true. And we refresh and once again, you can see that those two values are equal. Now, how about if we use strict equality? In that case, they are not equal to. Another example. Let's simply declare A and set B equal to null. That means A will be undefined and B will be null. So using strict equality first, let me save that, refresh, they are not equal to. However, if we use regular equality, refresh, it indicates that they are equal. One more example. Let's set A equal to quotes, quotes without nothing in between it and B equal to zero. Save it, refresh. They're equal to when we use the double equal operator. However, if we use strict equality, they're not equal to each other. Now, why is this happening? Well, the reason we're getting the results with the plain equality operator is because of coercion. Now first let's define what that is. Coercion is simply the converting of a value from one type to another. So the equality operator and the inequality operator coerce the value before comparing it. Where the strict equality and strict inequality do not coerce the values. So to see an example of coercion let me open up the console again. Let me just type the statement. Console.log true plus one. What will that result to and show us in the console? Well, if you guessed two, you would be right. 
So what is happening here is that the value of true is coerced to a number. And true is 1 when it's coerced to a number. False is 0. Therefore, 1 plus 1 is 2. So if we were to use the equality operator to see if true is equal to 1, it would say that it is. The strict equality would not. One more example of, of coercion. So these are two different values. One's a string and one's a number. What will the result be? Well, it looks like it's a number. However, what happened here is five was coerced to a string and then they were concatenated together. And so we get 35 as a string, not as a number. So coercion is causing the difference that occurs between the equality and inequality operators and the strict equality and strict inequality operators. So the lesson learned, if you are trying to determine which operator to use, always use strict equality or strict inequality unless you have a reason that you want the values to be coerced before they are compared to one another. So in almost all cases, strict equality and strict inequality will give you the results you want. And in those rare situations where you want to use coercion, you will be doing it because you understand the difference between those operators. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have comments or requests for other videos, include them in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel and like this video if you found it helpful.